Hey, it's Cody A here. If you want to make passive income in the stock market with a low risk and a consistent strategy, this video is for you. I personally have been selling covered call for years and I've been averaging about one to 3% per month. The selling cover call strategy has been used by a lot of big hedge funds and institutions to make consistent cash flow as well. In case you're new to the channel, my name is Cody A. I'm a seven figure real estate and a stock option investor who has been featured on a lot of real estate investing podcasts and been a regular guest speaker for TD Bank talking about stock option investing. If I can give you one advice before I start is watch this video all the way until the end. Because the example I share with you is relatively low risk and will very likely get you a double digit return every year. And if you haven't done so already, hit the like button and hit that subscribe because it took me years of experience to make this video and it only takes you 0.1 second to do so. I'll be breaking this video down to three parts. Part one, when and the risk involved in selling cover calls. Part two, the mechanics and the ideal goal for selling cover calls. And part three, I'll go into a life example on how I was able to make a double digit return every year by selling call options. So let's get right into part one. So before you start selling a cover call, you need to own 100 shares of the stock. For the simplicity of this example, you just go out and go buy 100 shares of the stock you wanna own. And now you can turn around and land out your stocks and you get paid doing so. And why would people do that? Because first of all, you're gonna get extra income while holding these stocks and landing it out. Most people, when they buy stocks, they just buy it, hold on to it, they get paid some dividends, sometimes not, and they're hoping that the price will go up. But do you know that by holding the stocks, you can actually sell cover calls on them and while you're waiting for the stock to go up, you can actually get paid doing so. And while you're getting paid, you're actually reducing the cost of ownership. So that further reduce your risk of owning that stock. And if you can do that long enough, you can actually own the stock for free. And that's what we call this an infinite return stock investing strategy. So how do we get started? First, you need to own 100 shares of the stock before we go and sell a cover call because if you don't, you're selling a naked call and I guess you don't wanna be naked, right? In front of the camera. While cover call reduces the cost of ownership, it does not prevent it from going to zero. So you really have to work on your fundamental and technical analysis to make sure that you invest in the right stock or the right ETF in the first place. I don't have enough time in this video, so check out my other video on my channel about those. And if you want an even more consistent and passive way of making monthly cash flow, make sure you check out my set and done strategy where you don't have to pick stocks and you only have to spend 30 minutes per week doing so. And now let's get right back into part two of the mechanics and the ideal goal for selling cover calls. First things first, selling, writing, and shorting all means selling options, so do not get confused. When you're selling covered call, you make money whether the stock goes up slightly, stays the same, or go down. If you're selling a covered call like me, I usually pick a strike price that's higher than the existing stock price. And if the stock price is higher than the strike price you pick by the expiration date, your stocks will be given away and all the money you get paid up front is all yours still. And if the stock price did not go higher than your strike price, go slightly below that or stays the same or go lower, you keep all the premium you get paid up front and you rinse and repeat. And that's where you continue to do an infinite return stock investing strategy. And before we go into part three of the example, let's get into some basic terminology. So if you look at my screen here on Apple, Apple right now in the top left corner the current stock price is at 189.57 and I pick expiration days of 30 days out for simplicity's sake. So if when I say I go sell a cover call with a strike price of higher than the existing stock price, right now that could be 190, that could be 195, could be anywhere higher than 189.57. 
not just for simplicity's sake. At 189 is what we call at the money. Anything lower than 189, for example, 185, 180, 175 is called in the money. And then anything higher than 189, 190, 195, and 200 is called out of the money. And like I said early on, I only sell out of money cover call because I really want to hold on to the stock and get paid a premium while I'm holding on to the stock and continue to reduce my cost of ownership until I own the stocks for free. In this case, Apple saw prices at 189.57. So if I'm selling an out of money cover call, which I usually do, let's say I pick 195. 195 is my strike price. That's the price I agree to sell the stock at in 30 days if the stock price go above the strike price of 195. So what do I get in return? I get paid between 225 to 243. And since one option contract controls 100 shares of the stock, I will have to time this by the 100. So I'm getting paid between 225 to 243. But I just say I get paid the least amount of $225. That's what we call a premium. And that's what we call the extra income I get paid every 30 days. So what's the ideal goal when you're selling call option? First, is you want to receive the maximum amount of premium. So right now I'm selling at 195. If Apple stays below 195 in 30 days, it was 194.89, I'll get paid the maximum amount of premium. And also, number two, I'll get to keep the stock because the stock price is below the strike price by the expiration date. So I can continue to sell cover call to bring down my cost of ownership and continue to get paid a monthly cash flow. And the third point is, if I don't have to give away my Apple stocks, I can continue to earn dividend yield. And since I'm only introducing the out of money cover calls here, let me know in the comments section if you guys wanna hear about at the money or in the money, and I'll probably make another video. And now let's get right into part three, where you will learn about this low risk strategy and the real example. For simplicity's sake, I assume I bought 100 shares of Apple at 189.57. I own 100 shares of it. I turn around and I, I look at, do I wanna sell at the money? Do I wanna sell in the money? Or do I wanna sell out of the money cover call? And I mentioned early on, I usually sell out of money cover call. So I will do the same in this case. Right, out of money, it's the strike price that's higher than the existing stock price. I usually look at the stock charts and see if there's any short term resistance. And it seems that 195, 196, this is the previous high. There was a big dip about a month ago. So I'm happy selling my cover call with a strike price of 195. So let's go back into the option chain. And for simplicity's sake, I chose 30 days because that's usually where I sell a cover call. And then I go out of the money, so we agree that it's 195. You guys already know that. The worst case, I'll probably get paid about $225. I click on this. I wanna make sure I'm doing sell, right? So let's do some quick math here to see how much you can make and how many contract of these you need to sell to replace your full-time income or to reduce your cost of ownership so that you can eventually own Apple shares for free. So if I sell a cover call of 195, Right, we can scroll right, the delta is about 0.34. Again, if you don't know about delta yet, watch this most viewed video on my channel to understand that. So Apple stock prices at 187.57, with the expiration date of 30, with a strike price of 195, I go ahead and sell a cover call. My delta is 0.34, my strike price is 195, and the premium I get paid is about $225. So what's my return in 30 days? I divide 225, which is the premium I receive, by the strike price, which is the price I agreed to sell my stocks at if the stock price go above that price in 30 days. So I make about 1.15% in 30 days, and that's an annualized return of 14%. And these are just the profit directly from the premium I receive. And since I bought the stocks at around $189, and I agreed to sell at 195. Just in case if the stock price go above 195, this is the amount of appreciation I'm going to make, right? So I use 195, which is the price I agreed to sell my stocks at, subtract by 189, which is the price I bought the stocks at, 
that's around $6 times by 100 shares is about $600. $600 divided by 189, which is the price I bought the stock at is about 3.17%. And while I own Apple stocks and sell cover calls on them, if I don't get called away, I will get paid a dividend yield of 0.49% every year. There are three income sources combined while selling a cover call. First is the most significant one. That's when I sell a cover call and my stocks does not go above the short price. So I continue to rinse and repeat and receive the premium. In this case, I receive 14% per year. And second one is the appreciation. If my stocks do get called away, I do make $600 on top, and that's about a 3% return. Now, last but not least, dividend is our friend, right? So dividend will pay us about 0.49% per year. Here you have it, step-by-step -step guide on selling call options where you can make consistent and low risk cash flow. And if you wanna learn how not to buy stocks outright, but buy your stocks at a cheaper price, then watch my most viewed video on this channel, Selling Put Option. Hope you enjoy. I'll see you on the next video. Say yay.